Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to a new Tenerife live stream. Let me know if you can hear me okay because we are trying out our new DJI microphones. I hope they are working or it is working. Uh, we're down in San Ueno. We're going to be going from here all the way through to Fania Bay Shopping Centre, exploring some of these back streets that we haven't done for a while. Uh, we're always down on the seafront. It'd be nice to show a little bit of the shopping centre. You've got some bars and restaurants down there. I want to have a little clap, pheasant plucker and all of those that we haven't really shown for a long, long time. Uh, so welcome along. I hope you can hear me okay. Florida vlog's just gone out as well. So if you're a Florida fan, uh, then the vlog has just gone out. There you go. You can hear me okay. Let me know throughout the stream how you find the audio. These are the best microphones on the market. Uh, the new DJI ones. Here it is. A little fluffy cover on. So we should have some lovely audio coming through. And uh, we can play with the settings on them as well. And adjust, you know, the sensitivity. We can even reduce background noise. Uh, like cars going by, things like that. But yeah, welcome along. Thank you for joining me. Golden hour, Tenerife. Busy weekend. It's Saturday night. Paddy's day tomorrow. And it's all getting quite exciting around here. The vibe today has been brilliant. The weather's been amazing all day. Clear blue skies. So uh, we're going to enjoy it. I'm going to walk just to the end here first before we head in the opposite direction. I just want to have a little look at all these little bars here. And then we'll head towards Fania Bay. We're going to go on the back streets though. So along past Sabia Hotel, all of those Harleys. We're going to go on that back street all the way along. Yeah, it's light and uh, it's light there, yeah. Still nice and sunny here. We're getting our, our summer nights are coming, coming back. Calm before the storm, I indeed. Gonna be a big day of buddies tomorrow. It looks like we've managed to secure uh, some last minute entertainment for tomorrow. So uh, do keep an eye on the uh, buddies pages. It looks like we might have uh, possibly uh, a bit of a band going on. We'll see how we get on. They're going to be doing a bit of Irish music and stuff. So either way, if you're around here in Tenerife in the south, tomorrow, get yourself to Los Cristianos. No matter where you go, you're going to want to catch the parade and the carnival. It's fantastic. Here's Rossini's. Anyone eaten in this one before? What's that? You can get sea bass, canary potatoes, 16.95. There you go. This one here as well, always looks lovely and smart, this one. This one changed hands fairly recently. Bravo, pheasant plucker, always busy in there. Happy hour, 11 till seven, nice. Look at that, look at the sun coming through. Uh, what time are you live at Buddy's tomorrow? I'm not too sure, I think we're gonna be live at about half past three. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit, little bit in Buddy's and then we'll move across and watch the parade and then from there i think we're going to walk or i'll drive or do a second stream from las americas i think uh, we're going to see how it goes tomorrow here's one that everyone loves star bar everyone loves it in here you okay yeah, yeah. you want to be on or no yeah ah, okay oh, you YouTube things. yeah yeah i'm just live Are yeah you? it's live yeah yeah you having a good time from youtube you having a nice time yeah yeah having great a good day great stuff oh, you look like yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> I know with the wacky shirt, it's got to be done. <laughs> yeah, you got the little microphone. Oh, you're fine. Oh, no problem. Have a good day. I think he's had uh, a few beers, been enjoying himself in the star bar there. There you go, full English, five euros in there. So, yeah, some of these, I always drive past them. It's dead hard to park around here, so I often miss a lot of these, or I come past them in the daytime when they're quiet. You've got. Uh, Wally Halley, what, 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 how do you spell it? Wally High, is that how you say it? Wally High, Wally High, hi yeah. There you go, a few people giving us a wave there. There you go, nice little cocktail bar as well. Oh, they've got a cocktail there called the Zombie. It's interesting, and then here's a Chinese buffet. So this is, eat as much as you want, 13 euros 95. That's like, what, 11 quid for all you can eat? It's good going, isn't it? Hong Kong. Let me know if you've been in this one before. So menu for two, super salad, barbecue ribs, spring roll, chicken and black bean, coffee and ice cream for 28 euros. It's a good deal, isn't it? 
And then just up here, you've got Gordon City. I'm going to carry on to one more bar here, which is the theatre bar. These have a lot of live cabaret and entertainment on as well. So yeah, I'm just waiting on confirmation. We might have a little bit of entertainment on tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit of a fun one-off thing for us. It looks like it might be an Irish tribute band. So we'll let's see what happens with that. Hello, you okay? You're fine. Yeah, come and say hello. I love, hey, I love the dress. Very Garvey. Very Where are you off to tonight? Are you off anywhere nice? Yeah, we're going to slow boats. Oh, okay. Lunch. Nice. That's our favourite. Favourite one? You look very smart. Both looking all dolled up. You had a good day? Yeah, it's been yeah. very hot, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been gorgeous, gorgeous today. When did you arrive? Oh, we've been here a week now. Okay. okay. So, so yeah, you've known the weather's been a bit mixed until yeah. now, yeah. But we don't mind. We don't no. mind. Right. It's better than being at home. Exactly. Well, it's still better warm. than being in England. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're home. Yeah. <laughs> so how long are you here for in total? Until next Sunday. Oh, nice. Nice. Got a whole week left. Hopefully it's going to stay like this as well. Fingers well, crossed. Yeah, so we, we don't, don't mind. We don't mind. No. Yeah. And where are you staying around here? Yeah, we're staying up in Monterey. Well, okay. Monterey, Wyndham, which is at the Just top up there, of yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. it's a long walk up. Yeah. We're Easy walk down, it. hard walk up. <laughs> Especially yeah. after a few beers. <laughs> get a taxi back. Yeah, get a taxi back up. Oh, you yeah, no problem. Oh, we'll have a lovely night. I might see you around again. You any plans for tomorrow, Paddy's Day? No. no. Well, yes, stay. yes, we have plans <laughs> yeah. to stay, stay out the way. Stay out the way. Fair enough. Stay out the way. Fair enough. Might not be a bad move. Take care. Good to see <laughs> have you. a lovely night. Enjoy. Bye. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Lovely couple. Let me know audio-wise how we're doing. New microphones are on. Could you hear them a little bit better with the new mics, or should I turn them up? You've got a Sunday roast in here, 11 till 6, every Sunday. So there you go, there's another little bar that a lot of you might miss because it is tucked away here. Further up is a little bit of a hospital on the left. That that you can see there in the distance is all Siam Park, so this gives you an idea of where we are. So we are in Costa Radaki. We're going to be turning around going the other way in a second. Then all of these here, all of these units and shops, these are all being done up and refurbished at the moment. So hopefully we'll see. I think this is a big pharmacy this this has all been getting worked on and done up over the last few months you can see where all the old signs were and stuff we be doing a lot of structural work microphones are excellent fantastic you can hear what people are saying yeah it's uh these are the best on the market so i was certainly hoping it was going to be a bit of an upgrade i did break the last ones but it's nice to upgrade if we've got to get new ones we might as well upgrade and uh, i'll tell you what i'll give credit where it's due the, um, the person who helped me pick these, I did a lot of research anyway, but um, the person who helped me pick these was actually uh, Mr. Travelon in Lanzarote. He uses the same ones and highly recommended them, so credit where it's due. He helped me out with uh, picking the DJI ones, so there you go. If you want anything Lanzarote, I'm sure a lot of you already follow Mr. Travelon. So, spinning around. You've got another Olympus pool bar just up there. We've looked at that before. Oh, going to walk out the way. Right, let's head then through San Juanio, through Costa Radecki, up towards Fania Bay. Uh, 566 tuning in. Do please hit the thumbs up. How's it going, Epic Phil, Keith, Tracy, uh, City Lads, how's it going? Alison, Eugene, Francis, how's it going? I hope you're all having a good day. Anyone up to anything interesting this weekend? You okay? You all right? Having a good time? Oh, you popped to Buddies yesterday. I missed you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. You having a good time, yeah? <laughs> you must be sick of hearing me. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> you can stay at Buddies. We'll put you in the basement. Do you have a good time, yeah? Good. Any put Right. Seven and a half weeks. Yeah, cool, I thought you were going to say seven and a half days. Nice. And how? Any plans for tomorrow? Any plans for tomorrow, Paddy's Day? Be idle. Be idle, right. <laughs> right. Ah, okay. Ah, I didn't know that game was. Ah, okay. Right. So you'll, so you'll be watching that, a few beers. Oh, well, thanks for popping to Buddies as well. I'm sorry I missed you. Have a lovely time. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Seven and a half weeks in Tenerife. It can't be bad at all, can it? Can't be bad at all. See, I didn't realise there's some football games on tomorrow as well. I keep forgetting that. Just all I can see is Paddy's Day. 
but uh, we forget that uh, there will be some footy going on. Chelsea, Leicester, West Ham, Aston Villa and Man United, Liverpool is on tomorrow as well. What a super Sunday that's going to be with all the rest of everything else that's going on. I do recommend if you're in Tenerife, get to Los Cristianos tomorrow. There's going to be a real atmosphere, a real atmosphere. If I could get up at six in the morning for you and film all the cars getting towed away, I would, but 6 a.m. is a bit of a push. But yeah, a lot of the streets get closed. People ignore the signs and park where they shouldn't. And you should see the operation in the morning. Police come down. They have about 10 or 15 tow trucks and they all get towed away. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite a sight to be seen, really. <laughs> Did I bring my jumper? It's in the car. It's, it's actually lovely and warm today. Currently still, even at this time, 21. Really comfortable. Right, okay, let's get ourselves into the heart of San Juanio then. I know some of you will be saying, take us down onto the seafront, show us the sunset. But we never end up doing the back streets when we do that. Uh, just been watching the Curry Challenge, I was in stitches. We've got to think of some new challenges to do with Dad when he's back over. Catherine and Dean heading home there in the airport at the moment. She did message me earlier. She said the airport is manic. It is mental in there. Chaos. Ramoed. So, yeah, if you're travelling home this week, expect the airport to be busy. Allow a little bit of extra time as well, just to make sure you get checked in. And also remember, when Tenerife Airport is busy, it can't handle it. The coffee shops, the restaurants, the Burger King, all of that. It's chaos, so don't rely on having food in the airport. It might be best to grab a sandwich in the shop or something and take it with you because uh, it does get a little bit crazy in there when it's busy. It doesn't handle it very well when we get a bit of a surge of people passing through. I uh, love when you do the back streets. Thank you very much. We haven't done them for a while, so is it nice to come out? Starting to recognise it a bit. Here you yeah. go. No. No, 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 no. That's a gorgeous sunset, that. I'm sticking to my guns, we've got to do the back streets. The gorgeous view up there as well, the sun's setting against all the mountain landscape. But yeah, do keep letting me know about our new little microphones. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying them so far. I'm glad that you're liking them. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm all good, thank you, Debbie. All good. Uh, check the buddy's Instagram before, it was full to br the brim again, so. Absolutely amazing. This is going to give you an idea of what, see, if you eat around this time, you've got all these tables, lovely and calm. Hello. Good, thank you. Are you? Oh, always. Um, you know, I don't I never uh, give anywhere a bad review anyway. It's uh, always good to be positive. We've been in there before, I think. It was either that, or I think it was this one where I had my birthday meal. Uh, but my point is, you can see all the spare tables now. Give it another hour, this will all be full. So this is always my recommendation. If you can eat around this time, seven, half seven, you'll get great service, quiet tables, you can pick where you want to sit. Give it another hour, it'll be crazy in there. Crazy. Uh, my cat sitter is on holidays for the first time in Tenerife. She's in Tandoori Hut, very jealous. Hope she has a good meal. Uh, Catherine didn't manage to make it up, Tady Emma. You'll see it on her vlog. It uh, didn't quite go to plan, unfortunately. She had a little bit of bad luck, and it didn't quite happen. Yeah, it's going to be busy, busy around here now. You've got a lot of popular bars. St Eugene's Temple Bar this tomorrow will, of course, be crazy as well. You see they've already got the balloons and stuff out. Anyone else excited for tomorrow or you? <laughs> a few people we've met there said they're just staying in and staying out the way. One thing I will remind you all though, please do be very careful with big crowds. Unfortunately, come the, uh, the pickpockets and stuff. A uh, gentleman posted on my group today saying that uh, they'd attempted to uh, pickpocket him twice this trip. So be very careful with your stuff. You've got big crowds, loads of distractions music going on you've had some drinks there will be pickpockets around and about tomorrow 
with the numbers of people around, everyone's drunk, banging into each other in the bar and stuff. If you're worried, just take cash card with you. Look after yourselves. Right, it's been a while since I've been down here. Especially this time of night. We normally lose a bit of signal here, so if it does, bear with me. Uh, how's the bar going? Very well, thank you, Dabby. If you don't follow the Instagram, check it out. Uh, tomorrow, we've got a couple of special cocktails, special shots, and potentially a little bit of a... Uh, special Irish band on as well, hopefully. So if you're around, you might have a bit of entertainment on tomorrow evening. I'll confirm it all on Instagram when it's confirmed. It was just a little last minute idea. Look at that sky though, stunning. I will be filming tomorrow, I'm gonna to be live tomorrow. So I'll certainly be live about half past three. We'll probably start at Buddy's and then make our way to show some of the parade. The parade will go on for quite a while, so I don't think I'll show the full parade. And then hopefully gonna make it into Las Americas as well. We'll go around sort of Temple Bar area and stuff. Show all that atmosphere for Paddy's Day. Everyone loved that last year. And the year before as well. We always try and show a bit of the Las Americas atmosphere. Here's Harley's. See, normally when I walk past all these, it's daytime, it's quiet. But yeah, you can see it's quite busy tonight. You sit in the car and have your dinner. Quite unique. They're doing a little bit of work here as well. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, doing a bit of work on this grass area. It's better going down. It certainly is, Robin. That hill. <laughs> going, you know, so pick this way. Go back that way. Trouble. <laughs> It does get the back of the legs. So I'm not quite sure what they're doing in here. Let's have a little look-see. If I just cross over carefully. I'll have a little nose in here. Hey, they're following you. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> You're not supposed to see me. I'm, I'm, I'm meant to be in hiding. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, not quite sure what they're doing. Is it just garden stuff or... Smartening it all up, maybe. Something going on through there. Uh, let's see, Kieran Duthie, I hope I'm saying that right, Duthie. Uh, thank you very much, myself, Kieran, and Mum Eileen from Peter, Peter's Head, uh, flying from Aberdeen on Wednesday. Uh, we're coming to Buddies over for 10 nights. Kieran, thank you very much. Thanks for the super chat. I look forward to seeing you then. Um, and all of the super chats do go back into the channel. These microphones, for example, is that 220 odd euros, I think they were, but hopefully worth it. They should last a long time. And I'm hoping for a little bit of better audio for you all. Uh, James Connor, thank you very much for the super chat as well. Much appreciated. I'm going to be trying to be a little bit more out and about with these streams as well because I'm on a little bit of a diet. <laughs> and rather than join the gym, I hate gyms, I can't stand gyms. So I'd rather be walking around and we'll do some lives and stuff than be in a gym. I think you'll all agree. But uh, let me just give you a peek at this because if you were down on the coast, you would have had a phenomenal sunset. It has set now, but the sky is still beautiful. Look at that, the island of Lagomera. Look at that, wow. Stunning, absolutely stunning that is. Uh, is Laura Buddies? Uh, she was earlier, and then she, I think she was popping home for a bite to eat and stuff. But uh, the full team are in tonight. Catherine, Jose, uh, Logan, uh, all in tonight to look after you. I think Laura will be back down again a little bit later on. I might try and pop in as well. It all just depends on timing and stuff. But if you're around tomorrow, hopefully you're going to have that little bit of entertainment on for you all as well. Different Irish shots, Irish drinks. We'll have a bit of Irish music on. And it's going to be just a good, fun day. Los Cristianos is going to be buzzing tomorrow. Buzzing. So there's Scallywags. That's like a family show bar, that. So if you've got kids, they have a lot of kids' entertainment in there, normally like face painting and things like that. So, you know, the parents can have a drink, the kids are in. Uh, they normally have a couple of kids' entertainers in there. You've got kids' mini disco, pool table, you know, stuff to keep them occupied. So uh, something to bear in mind, if you have got kids, you can bring them down and uh, have a little bit of fun with them while you have a little uh, cheeky drinky. 
tell you what, I've never ever walked up there. Where does it go? Never ever walked up there in my life. And I'm intrigued now. I want to see where it leads to. I don't know. I've never ever walked up here, ever. Uh, we're staying at the Royal Palm Apartments in three weeks' time and we'll definitely pop in uh, and say hello. You're very welcome. Even if you just want to pop in and say hello, pop in and say hello. Everyone is welcome. And uh, thank you to anyone who has popped in or been in for a drink and uh, supported us. 740 joining us now. Do please hit the thumbs up. Where does this lead to? Ah, I think I know where this leads to. This goes up around the back of Santa Maria. Not a huge amount to see really, is there? Not a huge amount going on, so we'll stick to our little main area here where we've got some bars and restaurants. Yeah, a bit of Irish Rovers. I better put the clean version on. True. Yeah, nine days and you're here. Anne Louise, fantastic. It goes to Laguna Park one. Ah, okay. Not a huge amount to see. <laughs> You've got to stop following me. <laughs> there you go, you're on. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh yeah, I would stop and say hello, but I'm worried about him <laughs> swearing, I think. They're having a good night though. They're having a good time, that's for sure. Had a walk from San Eugenio to Christianos and back. Legs of Addy, I'm not surprised. That's a tough walk. A tough little walk, that is. So you've got the Be Live La Nina, uh, La Pinta just there, I should say. La Nina's a bit further up. You've got La Pinta just here. Let's have a quick poke in La Pinta. I haven't been in this reception for about a year. Used to deliver here quite often, all of a sudden it just dropped off the radar. I deliver to La Nina all the time, but La Pinta, barely ever. Been about a year since I was here. And a fun fact, if you have got the kids, these are all climbable things, this like La Pinta sign outside. Have a little look at what's going on in here then. A uh, big thank you, giving us loads of ideas for the 3rd of July, you're very welcome. If you're a fan of the Florida Vlogs, a new one went up just earlier. There you go. That's nice and bright in here. Very friendly. Okay. In fact, like the, the screen's quite good, isn't it? Let's have a little look. Come, do we get to see the pool area from here? We walk through. Let's see if we can see where the pool is. No? Oh, that's quite cool. They painted all the walls with like dolphins going across. If you can see that. But I don't know where the pool would be in here. You'd end up walking around for days. So that's La Nina just there. You can see the pool area for La Nina. It's just over that wall. But in terms of La Pinta, I've got no idea. Right, so we're going to carry on striding. Let's keep moving. Dun, dun, dun. So it is a very family themed hotel, this one. Great for the kids. If you're looking for a very kid, child friendly, kid friendly hotel in this area, that would definitely be one to check out. It's all colourful and family orientated. Uh, thank you for the live streams. I have started to make a list for when I'm over in June in two weeks. Uh, June for two weeks, sorry, I should say. Uh, we'll hopefully call to buddies as well. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time. In terms of the Med Palace, apparently it is it is true now that they have confirmed. I've had loads of comments about it. They have confirmed it's not opening in June. Uh, the people who had reservations for June in the Med Palace in Las Americas have already been moved. Most of them have been moved to the Volcano. So, as we expected, 
it doesn't look like the Med Palace is going to open on time in June after the third pushback. So if you've got a reservation for there, contact your uh, whoever you've booked it with and just check and ask. Apparently the people with Jet 2 have already been moved and told that it won't be opening in June. It's no shock there, really. But unfortunately, people do get their hopes up and uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Here's these lads again. I'm going to follow them all night long here. <laughs> it's just not going away. We're here all day. <laughs> Still here. I keep popping in and I come out and you're there again. <laughs> they are genuinely thinking I'm gonna. F I'm following them here. Funny. Amanda's. They do a three course, fourteen ninety five in there. Let's see what you've got on the menu for fourteen ninety five. Then give you an idea of value. Five seventy five for a kids meal. So you have a mini pizza or a little steak and chips, bolognese. So from half five till half ten, you can get this three courses, fourteen ninety five. That's about twelve quid. Exchange rate is that if you if you're lucky, good shops one fifteen today. Most were giving one fourteen, one fourteen and a half. So it's a good little idea of what you can get for fifteen euros. It's not bad, is it? Peking Palace there, which is Chinese. Ooh, so this is where the reggae bar is. People go on about this reggae bar down there it's closed at the moment if you've been to any of these let me know in the comments which is the best restaurant the one I've, the one I've only done the one I've done is Amanda's haven't done Victoria here again these do a 13.95 three quarter chicken pork beef seafood all kinds going on and the breakfast is still super cheap 4.95 for a breakfast and then kill coins this is going to be mad busy mad busy today mental tomorrow irish bar up there i'll be very busy tomorrow indeed the lotus garden hot buffet 14.95 so many, you could try these all day long, so many I've never ever tried, ever. The place to be, gastro bar again. I think I had a coffee here once, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Or well, I had a Coke in here, or a drink, I'm sure I did. You've got an Indian back here as well. And further up, here's a bar that you probably would never ever know was here, if it wasn't pointed out. And that is. Hi, yeah. You okay? <laughs> uh, the Flynn and Flanagan Irish bar in here again. This is going to be busy tomorrow, isn't it? This is hidden. Very hidden. I want to have a little look inside. Looks quiet now. Going to be busy tomorrow. I had no idea this existed. I've lived here ten years. Ten years I've been here for. I find new places every day every day that have been here for years as well i don't even think this is new to the island that i know of again if you've been here let me know the sky is still stunning there yeah i had no idea this even existed so this is uh, one to keep an eye for for tomorrow yeah it's all well themed and everything nice got an outdoor area there as well have to be careful with the music well that'll be busy tomorrow in there Quiet just now. Just tucked off the side. Hi, yeah. Just tucked off the side. So, say a quick hello to these. <laughs> Wrong one. Place to be, Place to be. Come on. You okay? You having a good time? There you go. Have a great time. What are you do? Any plans for tomorrow? Any big plans tomorrow? <laughs> Have a good time. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we've got a super chat there as well. Tom Cat, thank you very much for the super chat. Sharon and Bruno uh, are going in June to celebrate 25 years married. Uh, we will see you at Buddies. Thank you very much, Tom Cat. I hope you're well. It's the Santa Maria bar. So that's part of Santa Maria Hotel then. Good info. The Flynn and Flanagan. Hi, yeah. There you go. Wakanda as well. They've got one of these in Las Americas, which you'll have probably seen. 
This is the one here in Costa Radecki. Hi, yeah. Say a quick hello to these. There you go, everyone's in a great mood in here, look. Everyone's loving it. Hi, yeah, you okay? You've got to be careful with the music. You okay? Love the shirt, love the dress. Oh, the blouse, is it? Nice. Very garby. I you know, got to be wacky, haven't you? You having a good time? Any plans tomorrow? Oh, in the, um, there we are, yeah. That'll be a good vibe in there. Have a wonderful, nice. Enjoy it, enjoy. Plenty of sun cream as well. You too, have a great night. Thank you. Oh, lovely couple there. Lovely couple. Everyone's having a great time, are they? You notice how everyone's in a buzzing mood. Everyone we've spoken to, everyone said hello. People we don't even know. Oh, I haven't even seen the channel, giving us a wave, saying hello. Everyone's just in a great mood. Steakhouse Hawaii. So when they mentioned the square there, that's coming up on the right. That's uh, what they mentioned just there. 882 tuning in. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Welcome along. If you're new to the channel, I do live here. Full time, we'll be live again tomorrow, showing all the atmosphere in Los Cristianos for the carnival, uh, Las Americas for Paddy's Day. So uh, do join us, subscribe, it's free. We'll be live again tomorrow if you can't make it out here. If you are coming out and you want to hire a car or you're looking to hire a car, give us a shout, that's what I do full time. It's a nasty car hire. Company's been going for over 45 years. So uh, that's what I do full time as a job. And then we have recently, you'll see in the chat and being mentioned a lot, uh, Buddy's Bar, that is our latest little venture. So if you do fancy a cocktail or a drink in Los Cristianos, me and uh, Laura have Buddy's Bar as well. Keeps us very busy, but we love it. Square is buzzing on Sundays, it always is, but add, add to the fact you've got Paddy's Day, you've got Liverpool versus Man United. It's gonna be busting, we'll have a quick look at this. Uh, Lee Piggin, be over in a couple of weeks to sample your cocktails, can't wait, thank you very much. Thank you for the super chat as well, much appreciated. Should you have a little wander through, have a little look at what's going on? Uh, we've got Maguire's here, there's some further up as well. Oh, sorry. Uh, we'll carry on up through this way and have a look at some of these. This is one that's always recommended and I can never get in. It's one that uh, is very popular for food. Everyone sends me here for food. Coming up on the left hand side. I love when you come out of this time of night. The sun in, this is the one. Everyone recommends it. And as you can see, quite busy already. It's meant to be really good food. Really good. There's Sunday lunch in there as well. It's meant to be really good. This is all part of Sunset Bay. So if you're looking to find this, I'd literally just put Sunset Bay Club in your uh, Google Maps and it'll bring you straight here. You've got all little bars in here that you would never ever know existed. We'll take you in because I haven't been in here for a while. Uh, staying in HD Chenery Sayre, Christian Sayre Apartments. Anyone stayed there? I know them very well. They're around the corner from us. And they're, they're very solid options. Very solid. Good options then. There you go. The sun in stretches all the way back here. You've got another restaurant here, Restaurant Sebastian. Never been in that ever. If anyone's tried that, let me know. You wouldn't know these were here. So. Hi, yeah. You okay? You having a good time? Yeah. Quick question. Yes. What's your favourite restaurant or bar around here? You've got all these little ones I've never, ever tried. Uh, we were in the sun last night. It's lovely, very friendly, very sporty. The drink in there is really, really cheap. Nice. Uh, favourite bars? Oh, oh the lights are go down the front. But Send it, yeah. Here are the dog. Okay. It's nice and easy peasy. Yeah. Food's okay. Girls are good. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And you've got Solace, which is opposite the Bombay. Bar yeah, yeah. Love Solace. Yeah, oh, they do yeah. like the tapas style. Yeah, we're That's having, good. Nice. We're having, so do you always stay here then? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We, we, we love it here. Yeah. Nice. Love it. So I knew you. I had a feeling you'd know which was. Uh, they all look really good, but there's so many to choose from. Oh, there yeah. is. Have you tried this one, Sebastian? We, 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 have, we, we keep going. No. It's always yeah. good. Yeah. Ah, it okay. must be good. There you go. Well, they're all, they always seem to be. I get so many recommended, yes. and I never. I'll tell you where I'm going to go. I saw it on your video a couple of weeks ago. Is it the Tivoli Hotel along 
where they've got a beach bar at the front. Oh, yeah, nice. Try that. We're going to go there. It's really, really, nice. really nice. Well, it's not the cheapest drink you'll ever have, but it's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah, yeah, do it. And just take your time with it. <laughs> Enjoy. Nice to meet you. Have a great night. Oh, look at them. They're off off for a night out. How, how many of you wish you were uh, here on holiday now? Just about to head out for the evening. So you go, here's the pool area. Anyone can walk in here, you haven't got to be staying here. So you can walk straight through this gate here and you can go down. You've got all different bars along here, all the way along. But I'm going to carry on just up to the right because there's even more up here. If I remember rightly, there's even more in this little square further up. Now, the busiest time for this is Sunday, but I will show you where it is. So yeah, you can wander in here. Come on in, it's not private. You can wander on through. Oh, my legs are uh, feeling it now. So yeah, this is the calm before the storm. If you come down here tomorrow, this will be bouncing. Always is every Sunday. So they put axe on here in the middle and then all the bars around. They pitch in and pay for the axe on every single bar and restaurant here gets a bit of entertainment with it. So you've got Times Square, one for the road, all kinds going on. So in here, you can sit in any of these, doesn't matter. And the entertainment's on here tomorrow. I think they've got four acts in a row tomorrow, but every Sunday they do the same. So you can sit and have food, drinks, you can go for a Sunday roast. And it's like a little arena. So the audio is actually really quite good because it just bounces around. I mean, if you're staying here and you don't like acts and live music, Sundays are probably the day you're going to want to go out. <laughs> um, but the atmosphere is really good. Quiet tonight, tomorrow will be nuts. Oh yeah. So this is Sunset Bay Club. There you go, there's an idea of some of the acts that are on. Bobby Williams, Emma Blacker, Michael Bublé. Right, let's carry on then. Yeah, you wouldn't know these were here and a lot of people think, oh, they're only for the people staying in Sunset Bay because they see the gates and stuff and it does look a bit private, but it's not. You can come on in anytime. Uh, do please hit the thumbs up if you are enjoying the stream. Uh, quick rough location are buddies. It's right near Christian Sayre, uh, Tenerife Sayre Apartments, not far from Taylor's Lounge, El Mirador Strip, the Fox Restaurant, not far from Los Cristianos Bus Station. And get from the bus station very easily as well. So what I'll do, I'll go round the other side and show them rather than walking through disturbing people's meals. I'll skip round the other side. Uh, lovely sunset, pitch black here in Scotland. That's good to bring you a bit of escapism. Uh, let's see what else did I miss. I can smell the holiday when watching. <laughs> Anyone else having a little mooch on Sky Scanner at the moment? Having a little look at uh, flights, accommodation. Checking out some of the options. Let me know what you all think. For anyone who hasn't joined it, we're nearly at uh, 950 tuned in now. I uh, have got the new DJI microphones on. Let me know what you think of the audio. Is it uh, any different to usual? Is it good, bad, better? Better than it normally is? We've uh, upgraded our mics. And uh, they do feel a lot better quality. They feel a bit sort of heavier. Maybe a better battery in them, is my feeling. I'll load more settings on as well so we can play with how much background noise picks up on and stuff. At the moment, I've just got them set to straight up, normal, as you go. So yeah, you see this barrier and you think, oh no, I can't go up there, but anyone is welcome to come through. Uh, audio is brilliant, thank you very much for the feedback, Jess. So yeah, again, this might be a little bit quieter tonight, but tomorrow, all of this will be busting. Absolutely busting. You've got hoppies as well down there. Yeah, so tomorrow, this will be full to the brim. Great atmosphere spreading through whichever one you choose. Right, let's carry on then. We're going to float through. Still going to make our way to Fania Bay. Spares lost. It's a shame. Some Spurs fans not too happy. In Big Ange we trust and all that. Andrew. Oh yeah, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. 
How are you? Good, thank Good you. To you. Nice to meet you. We all had good. a nice long walk in the sunshine the other day and went all the way down the other end and walked from Costa Radecki all the way down. Wow. Just for something, well, it was a bit of a... a bit over castle, wasn't it? Overcast, yeah. So we just made the most of the day and went all the way down there, said hello to Laura, said hello to the girls in the bar. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Nice dorada. So now you know what a mega walk feels like on yeah, the legs. Man, oh man. <laughs> Not for me. Minutes. Wow. Not for me. No, no, no. So, so you stay in here, you staying around here yeah, then? No, sorry. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, we stayed in, right. uh, we're going back, back tomorrow, um, Costa Radecki, the Labranda Suites. Labranda Suites, okay. Labranda suites. What do you yeah. think? Nice. Really nice, Lovely. really yeah. clean, immaculate. The staff are really helpful. Good. So yeah, very, very good. Yeah, nice. very good. I've heard good things. I've, I see the reception and that. They're all done up really nice in there. Yeah, it is. And we spent, really yeah. Nice and clean and tidy. We spent most Brilliant. of the week up on the roof on the cocktail bar at the top. Oh, nice. All the sun. Oh, yeah, you okay? No shades, you all right? Yeah. You so, too? Yeah. Off on a night out? Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like the outfits. Very garvey. <laughs> Have a great Very night. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's coming out again soon. Yeah, right? he comes out on the 2nd of April. He's Second back for April. a couple of weeks. Easter, yeah. actually. Just after yeah. Easter. Yes, yeah, just wow. after the, yeah. the madness. The madness he'll keep begins. me busy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll keep you me busy. A, I, I did talk to Laura the other night. You need to get a cocktail in Buddies. Probably a little bit of a tie in, like some nasty spritz or all. Okay. Nasty, like, you know, I cheese like cheese it. Cake. Nice you idea. Something in just to be fair, what we did like about it was because of what you do and what you're doing here. Yeah. As soon as we walked in, everybody wanted to chat to you. Yeah, it's a, everybody, it's, it's just a good a common link. link there. Yeah, that's yeah. our vibe: is people chat, yeah. make friends. We've had people meeting there, and then they go off and do day trips together, and yeah, that's, that's our vibe: is so, you yeah. be, you're, it's a bar you can go in and chat and meet people and, yeah. and do what yeah, you need to do. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, Laura, see you soon. Thank you very much. Um, but tomorrow, we're, we're you're off. When are you up. back? Any ideas? Another year, maybe. Uh, another right. year, well, we've got daughter's wedding to pay for this year. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 A lot um, of dads will know exactly how, <laughs> how you're feeling. put a deposit down on a new house, so he's now moving as well. So right. the rest of this year might be a little bit tied up. Yeah. But, so you never goal. know, though. Keep an, eye, keep an eye. You might get a little cheeky weekend, see something cheap yeah. come Always up or something. Weekend. Well, I fancy a cheeky golfing weekend. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. That'd be nice. I'm not sure you like the sound of that. Yeah. Oh, you can chill on the patio. She's a planned little break for me and my friend. And she came home and I said, oh, you've got some break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We fly out to Venice. We get on a cruise ship and I'm like, little cheeky break. Oh. <laughs> just a little break, just so a I've cruise. And a... I've got the credits. So. Nice. Right. Oh, yeah. I hope all, all goes well. Thank you very much for popping the bar as well. Yeah, Lovely no to worries, meet you both. Andrew, take care, mate. Have a safe yeah. journey back tomorrow. Yeah. I'm just saying Thank then, you. my sister's in the airport now. She said it's crazy busy, so I'll leave a bit it's of extra really time. Yeah. She's leaving right, like you will yeah. be tomorrow. So yeah. she said it's mad busy, so just... Uh, guys watching, just be careful of the electric scooters, the little bikes and things. Yeah. I don't know when they're going to bring some sort of policing in, some sort of governance, but we've had like 12, 13, 14-year-old kids. It's not really got a lot of road sense. No, no, yeah. They're bombing you there and everywhere. Now, you don't want them to get hurt. You don't. Obviously, they're here with the family, and you don't want the family to go through the ring all of them. But yeah. Just, just be warned of... Yeah, yeah. A little bit zippy. I see it posted in the groups and stuff. It is a bit of an issue. Because yeah. the speed of them, and yeah, as you say, it's an issue if it's not policed properly. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, just be careful, guys, if you're having one. Good advice. All Thank right. you very much. Take care, Andrew. Have a great see night. Thank you. Right. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Oh, lovely couple there, and they made a valid point there about the scooters. It does pop up on the groups a lot, and as he said, a lot of the it's a lot of kids using them, and they they haven't got much road sense, like he's just said. So uh, you do need to have eyes in the back of your head, and if you are going to rent them. Just uh, be wise with them. Uh, do be wise. What you've got to bear in mind, it's all fun and games and the police don't really police it too much at the moment until you fly into someone, you knock someone over, you fly into a car or you damage something, then when the police come, they will uh, dish out the fines for no helmets and things like that. These are the scooters we're talking about. Not the mobility scooters, these scooters here that you stand on. Or uh, what we're talking about. 940 tuned in. I do please hit the thumbs up. Audio sounds great. Uh, also, nice to hear people talking to you. Yes, there we go. A little bit of better audio for you all. And we can play with that as well. We can play with the sensitivity. So we can make it really sensitive. So you hear, hear quite a lot. Let's have a little look at some of these bars as well. Last time I was here, all daytime, I'm always here in the day, never night, so it's nice to do something different. This looks like a good little vibe, doesn't it? Unique bar. Cocktails, beers, a bit of music on, a bit of dancing. Everyone's having a good time, isn't it? Holiday vibes, that, isn't it? Proper holiday vibes. Looks good. 
So this is just outside the hotel at Havima Kostradeki. That one I believe is adults only, I think, that one. In there. There you go. Busy, busy in there. Unique sports bar. Good little holiday vibes. I like it. Let's keep walking down. I'm going to have to walk back up this hill in a second. Sorry. Walk back up the hill. But just want to check out Bar Fresh here. Popular for cocktails. Yeah, nice to see where we're coming to Sunset Harbour. There you go. First time here, not the last. Fantastic. You've caught the Tenerife bug. So here is Bar Fresh. Good for your cocktails in there. Bit more of a chilled vibe. More of a chilled vibe in that one. <coughs> Hi, yeah, you okay? Yeah, okay. You all good? Yeah. Having a good time? Yeah. Oop, I'll just step out the way. There nice. we go. As ever. Where are you off to tonight? I'm just going for something to eat tonight. Oh, nice. Anywhere in particular you don't know yet? Well, we've had Chinese, we've had Indian, we've had Italian, so... Right. See what you fancy. I love the polo as well. Very oh, nice. Partic particular holiday highlights from this trip. Anything that stood out? Anything particular that you've really enjoyed? Well, we come here this often. We've nice. We've covered most of them. Yeah. I wanted to go up Mount GD today on the bike on the bike. Ah, okay. All the way up the top. Nice. Not the other floor, and that's yeah, do like it up there, Tady. I was up there last week, saw a nice sunset and stuff. So we'll be nice. here for Cheltenham and we're looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow, Any particular plans everywhere. or are you just going to see how it goes? Well, maybe start at the Temple Bar and then head to the Gaelic Corner or oh, vice nice. versa. Yeah, it's going to be. We'll do the three of them. <laughs> yes. so, nice. Right. Look after yourself tomorrow. You Enjoy well. it. Well thank you very much. Thank Lovely you. to meet you. Have yeah. fun. Yeah. Thank you. Good you. Oh. Thank you very much. You okay? You having a good time? Yeah, fine, yeah. I recognised your voice because uh, you've got a bit of a scouse accent. Yes, you know, that's yeah, the one. Fine, yeah. You off anywhere nice tonight? You're just chilling? Uh, we're going to do some Mario's down there. Okay. We've got a wedding anniversary tomorrow, but we know it'll be manic everywhere tomorrow. So. Yes, it'll be a little bit full on tomorrow. Yeah. You're yeah. just going to lay low or are you going to go out and... Uh, we're going to the Galway Girl. Oh, okay. Place. Yeah. yeah. Going there. Vertical on. Yeah, the, yeah there's um, entertainment on all day. So. Brilliant. That'll be a good vibe in there. Oh, Good fun. Oh, well, happy anniversary for tomorrow. Enjoy it and look after yourself tomorrow as well. You. Have fun. Bye. Thank you. See what I mean? Everyone's just having a great time. Everyone's loving it. Everyone's in a great mood. Tenerife is really vibing at the moment. Sunset's beautiful. Yeah, the sun's gone. The sun set about half an hour ago, but the sky is still giving it large. Cookie straws <laughs> for Mick Garvey at Starbucks next to Metropolis. Yes, uh, I will be taking him there. I've got the straws over here that he loves. Everyone's been trying them. If you're, if you're on Facebook, you're not in the uh, Night Strider Tenerife fan group, make sure you join it. Uh, it's our fantastic community group. Uh, Instagram as well, give me a follow. TikTok, again, post little bits. Posted some videos on there today from the Golden Mile. So if you're on TikTok, the Night Strider one. And they were both on most other platforms, so do give me a follow. You can see little bits that maybe don't make it to YouTube because they're just quick little snippets of what's going on in Tenerife. Bits of info, I did share quite a good uh, tip on Instagram stories today regarding the pickpockets. Um, to be very careful tomorrow, just with those crowds and stuff. Uh, so bear that in mind. Now, spin it around. Horizonte, so that's like a shisha bar, food and drink in that one. Indian restaurant next to it. We've got another shisha bar. Hayat, is that how you say it? Hayat? Hayat? Little shisha bar there. And then, of course, the very popular Tanyos. Great for cocktails. Here you go, you can hear people having a sing and stuff. Popular in there. Tanyos bar. There we go. And more other little restaurants over there as well. Little Italian pizzeria. Yeah, Tanyo's popular. It's nice seeing all these at night. We see them in the day and they're always empty, aren't they? All closed. It's nice to see them at night. Right, back up the hill. We're making our way to Fanya Bay Shopping Centre. Doing well. Hey, how's the weather at the minute? It's amazing at the minute, Gemma. Amazing. I'm hoping it stays this way. Really warm as well. We had highs of 27 today. It uh, did get pretty hot in the midday. 
mid-afternoon. Evening James, evening Robert, how's it going? Alan, Joe, and Smiler, how's it going? Rona, happy memories back in May, here with old mother this time, <laughs> making more new memories, fantastic, that's what it's all about. Making memories, don't have to spend a fortune when you're over here. Sometimes the best memories of the holiday are like the simple ones, sitting having a beer on the front, sitting having a laugh by the pool, etc. There's another walkway I've never ever done, down there. So that takes you down towards Luma. We're gonna stay on the top side though. We'll stay up here. Little car park here as well, if you're ever wondering where to park around here. Little private car park just down this slope that uh, there's normally a man um, operating it that you pay and you leave a little ticket on the windshield. Hello, you okay? Hello. Have a good night. Bravo Grill. Hey, it's vibing in there now. Got a bit of levels going on. A bit of Avicii levels. It takes me back to my days of being 18, that. Going out. Saturday night. Hi, oh, yeah. You okay? Your idea has come this way. Oh, yeah. It fucking was. Sorry, everyone. Excuse the language. Apologies. <laughs> Sometimes out of my control. Apologies for that. Do my best, but, you know, Tenerife vibes. At the moment, a few people have had a few beers in the sun. <laughs> it's a risk you take. Uh, have a walk in Havima Kostradaki. I uh, would, but as you can see, that's the security guard just there, and I don't know whether he'll uh, give us a bit of issue there. They are quite strict on who comes in, so he'll probably be looking for bands and stuff. We'll avoid that one today. Got a bit when I walk in with my big camera set up on my microphone on as well. It rings alarm bells. They think you're in to report something negative or something. Yeah, his buddy's open seven days a week. It is indeed seven days a week. Uh, tomorrow opens at 12 o'clock, nice and early for uh, Paddy's Day. But uh, normally, our normal hours are uh, all through the week, Monday to Friday, 4 till 1 a.m four in the afternoon till 1am and the regular weekends are one till 1am Saturday Sunday but uh, tomorrow open a little bit early for Paddy's day we have got that special Paddy's day cocktail and those cool glasses as well that we brought all the way from America here's another one gourmet market anyone tried this this is a restaurant that's open I think it's past the hotel open from half six till 11 and the bars open from half six till one and that's this restaurant down here this is nice isn't it there you go you're seating in there as well this is part of the hotel i delivered here this morning as well <laughs> it's a nice picture opportunity isn't it on the old swings nice place to sit and have a little cocktail that isn't it quite romantic and if i have a look down a nice little place to have a little uh, oh wait let's go and have a nosy let's do it I'm going down the stairs I'm having a look at this I've never seen this before everything changes at night when you come past this in the day all these table and chairs are away and it never really looks like anything so this is part of the Ibero Star Sabia Hotel which is five star I think very very nice hotel so there's the restaurant there with little fire burners, very nice. And I'm going to quickly show you the pool area. Exclusive little look here. Quickly show you this pool deck. Uh, do please hit the thumbs up everyone. I uh, love the Sabia back there in June. Now interesting one with this hotel, I was chatting to the uh, subscriber who took the car earlier. I gave him the car and always chat while we're doing the paperwork. And he was saying with this hotel, the price of the rooms vary a lot because you can pick exactly what room you want to have. So the ones at the front with the views are more expensive, obviously, but you said you can have one, one room uh, with a good view and then you literally click on next door and it could be 150 euros more because it's got a slightly better view. So something interesting with that, you can actually pick your exact room in here. 
So if you want a very specific uh, view, you want to know exactly what view you've got, exactly what room you've got, he was saying you can pick your exact room and the prices vary. You can click through and I said you'd be there all day trying to pick, oh, should we pay 150 quid more for this slightly better one? Or, But yeah, you can pick exactly what you want. Quite cool, that little area as well. You can sit in the pool just on the edge. They've built like little seats in there, if you can see. It's nice. Look at the view you've got as well. So the view from this hotel would be stunning. So yeah, these rooms on the front, obviously you're not want much of a view. They're obviously cheaper. The ones at the front, more expensive. And if you want to pick a specific one with a specific view, prices vary depending on what exact view that you've got. Do you think that's a good system? At least you know you're not like, I picked a sea view room and you've given me a half sea view. At least you know exactly what you're getting and exactly what room you're going to have when you arrive. It eliminates that whole, what room are we going to have sort of thing, but then you're paying the price for it. So I think this is part of the like buffet food. I don't know whether you can pay to have the buffet or just sit down and order if you want. It's a nice setting, isn't it? There you go, into the hotel now. Got a few little shops going on. We can walk up into the reception from here as well. You've got a little art gallery as well. Look at that, wow. That is uh, Airport Rock, as I like to call it. That's Red Mountain, that's the mountain that you see when you land on the plane. That there, painted very nice. I quite like that one as well. Is that to do with the forest fires, is it? The firefighters with the forest. Some of this artwork's stunning. Had no idea this was in here either. Apologies for the flashing lights. There you go. There's a lot of this specific to Spain and Canaries. Got a little surfer here. Interesting. I like that. That's lovely. Really nice painting that. The waves rolling. Wouldn't mind that on your wall, would you? If you're a Tenerife fan. <laughs> have a quick poke in at the restaurant. See if we can have a little look. This is the buffet. I will do the hand sanitizer, even though I'm not going to be touching anything. But I will do it anyway. Okay, so. Off we go. Dinner tonight. Price per person is 45 euros, drinks included. So there you go. Anyone can come in and do this. You can come in, pay 45 quid and have dinner and drinks for 45 euros. It's not bad, is it? We'd like to ensure every moment you have with us is unique. We change our dress code for the summer season. We'd appreciate if you have the, ah, okay, so we've got to be careful here. You've got a smart shorts, clothes shorts, a shirt, t-shirt or polo. So they're trying to keep it quite smart in there. So, I mean, I'm in a shirt and, and jean shorts, but there you go, you do get seated. Look at all the different wines available there as well. Wow. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks very good. I'm going to quickly ask, see if we can have a quick look at the uh, the buffet. We'll ask. I don't want to just walk in. But I'll ask and see if we can uh, have a little nosy around. This could be something of interest to you. There you go, you've got Rioja there. 30 euros for the bottle. This is something interesting. I have no idea this how this went on. You can see it's popular as well. Everyone's in down here enjoying themselves. Uh, don't forget to hit the, hit the thumbs up. Yeah, if you can hit the thumbs up, the like button underneath the video it really helps us out. And uh, subscribe if you are new. We're in the Sabia Hotel in Costa Rodecki. We're just in the restaurant, which I believe is open to the public. You can pay and come in and have dinner and drinks and stuff. I'm going to ask the gentleman here for more information. And when I get that, I will uh, let you know. Hi, yeah. Uh, just a quick question. Is it open to the public in here? Can the public come in and pay? Yeah, and yeah, do yeah it? you pay with yeah. the car or ah, okay. cash, maybe, I don't know. No problem. I give information out on YouTube, you see, so I'm just seeing what's going on because I saw it from the street. Oh, okay. And, uh, I live here, but I never knew this was possible. Yeah, so. it's possible for the public, you know. Do you mind if I quickly show it? or Yeah, yeah? is that okay? No problem. It's, it's all positive. We've got a thousand people watching, so no problem. Thank you very much. So, there you go, let's show you what's on offer so anyone can come in and uh, enjoy a bit of food and drink. Look at that. Wow, we've got all these different tapas options. This is nice. It smells amazing in here as well. Oof, look at that. wondered what that was then. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? It's going off with the plates. 
wonder what that was that rolled past me then. What else we got? We've got soups. All different options. Looks lovely. Red. Wow. Hello. Very friendly as well. I like that. We've got all your different meats here from the tapas as well. So you can pay to come in here, 45 euros, have as much of this as you want, and drinks as well. I might bring Dad in here. I might bring Dad in here. What have we got going on here? There's a bit of a queue going on. Now, this is the meat and fish section. So we've got all the meat on the grill. That looks amazing as well. Skewers and stuff. They're very clean, very nice. Do please hit the thumbs up, everyone. I hope it's uh, nice and clear. Hopefully we're coming through nice and clear for everyone. Here's all your different veggies. Ooh, those potatoes look good, don't they? Wow. And then more meat options. You've got the ribs here. Pork. Ooh, is this Chinese as well? Wow, look at that. Oh. Nice. Oh, sorry. Here's my favourite section now, the desserts. Look at them. I've just done a little refresh. Hopefully it's coming through nice and clear. Let me know. Signal might struggle a little bit in here. Oh, the robot's off after me again, look. It's coming after me. Look at that, wow. See, I'd fill up on that whole cake, me. They look amazing. I tell you what, you're spoiled for choice in here for 45 euros, aren't you? Apologies, it is down to the signals, not much I can do. Got all the different ice cream here. And then here's all your pizza. This looks nice, nice pizza options from the pizza oven. Wow. It's a little Italian section. With your little bits of pasta and stuff. This is really nice. It smells amazing. It all looks really fresh. Super clean. My apologies, it broke up a little bit. It's just the signal down here because we are in the bottom of the hotel. But it's, uh, it looks really good. Huge salad section. Huge salad section. Definitely going to come and give this a try. Definitely. Wow. And you can sit inside or outside. Thank you very much. It looks amazing. Loads of choice, dead clean, nice. I'm going to come back and try it and do it properly. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Here you go, lovely staff as well. Really nice of them to let us in there. So uh, a big thumbs up for uh, Iberia Star Sabia there, letting us in to have a little nosy. Hi, yeah. You okay? Ah, thank you very much. I just popped in to have a little look at the restaurant. Yeah, it looks lovely in there. You on the way in or? Yeah, we just got in. You made us feel really great because last week you said the weather had got settled and yeah. we kept thinking, oh my God, don't say it's going to rain. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you very yeah, much. You just and actually, actually, you've been doing Florida. My best, one of my best friends in Florida. Right. We're obviously here. And you're doing oh, nice. Sort of doing a bit of both. Yeah, I've got yeah. Florida bugs going up. And, yeah. But it looks amazing. And there's the food. Have you Excellent. eaten in there before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been here yeah. nearly a week. Excellent. Because it's open to the public. You can pay 45 okay. and oh, eat yeah, and yeah. drink yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah so. It's gorgeous. It's got, yeah. It smells amazing, doesn't it's it? Their own smell. Yeah. Their own I scent. Tell you what it is. Now, it's someone needs to make it so you can buy bottles of it, oh, take it home, and I get it in a candle. It'd be nice. As soon as I walked in, I asked, "What is it? Can I know it?" No, no. no. <laughs> secret. We're not spotless in there. And the little robots spotless. with the plates and everything. Actually, spotless everywhere. Yeah. The rooms, everything. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be back to try that for forty-five euros. Good little, good price for. Yeah, I went round it and everything. Stunning. Yeah, massive salad really section and so oh yeah, <laughs> well, have, have some of that chocolate cake for me. It looked amazing. Oh, <laughs> Enjoy, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you love lovely ladies there having a great time, all inclusive in here. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, let's head up and out. Well, there you go. You learn something new every stream. I'll be definitely back to try that. Here goes another little Tenerife landscape. This looks like the cliffs of Los Gigantes. You can see there. Could be wrong. That looks like Los Gigantes. A bit of clouds, seagulls going on. They're lovely, aren't they? Really nice pieces. And if you're interested, that is three thousand three hundred euros, and it's eighty by one twenty. Just to give you an idea on the price, we're going to go up the stairs. 
Are we coming through nice and clear, hopefully? As you can see, we're down sort of underground, so it wasn't the clearest uh, of reception signal. We're making our way up to reception now. Here we go. This is the reception area. Lovely, that. I uh, met two lovely subscribers at the shops today. They partake in the vlogs uh, under the name Time Out. Hello to you both, if you're watching. Here you go, here's the reception. Gorgeous, isn't it? Love them. A lovely touch. I think, are we? I've lost my bearings here. Completely lost my bearings. This is the bar area up here. It's just a nice little bar area where you can grab a drink. Here you go. Grab yourself a little cocktail or a drinky up here. Outdoor area too. I've completely lost my bearings. This is reception, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna need to go out the front. There we go, I know where I am. I'll just show you this outdoor area. So if you're wondering which one this is, this is the Ibera Star Sabia. How many of you would like to stay here then? Gorgeous, isn't it? And uh, that's where we've just been. That's the outdoor area of the restaurant down there, I think. Oh no, different hotel that. I'm completely wrong. Is it? No, that's it, isn't it? Food supermarket, food market. Yeah, that's where we've just been, I think. <laughs> I hope. It's hard to tell where you are in these things. They're huge. Okay. Uh, one thing I've noticed is these uh, new microphones aren't draining my battery as much as the other one used to. Certainly not. Which is brilliant. Stunning hotel. Stunning. Right. And now we are back out on the street. So we were literally just down there before and we went down into the restaurant just there. So now we're carrying on back along the street just here. Along this way. There we go, what do you think of that then? That was a new little hidden option, wasn't it? 45 euros, fill your boots on the buffet, you can sit inside, outside, and have drinks, get the feel of a five-star hotel at the same time, they're not gonna kick you out, you can have a little wander around. Don't think you can go wrong, really. Might come back and film that properly with Dad when he's over. You go, little finds. It's not open in the day, see? If you don't come down here at day and night, you don't get to see the options. That was brilliant, I enjoyed that. Really good. <laughs> the robot plates as well, <laughs> going around. Uh, that robot was like me serving the Scouse tonight. <laughs> okay, so on your left here is the Inspire, Princess Inspire Hotel. little karaoke cafe there and straight ahead is the Wigan Pier there's a couple of different little bars around here another day in paradise certainly has been today let me tell you bit of a rugby on La Cabana, this is always busting. When I come down here in the morning delivering cars, often around these hotels, this is always busting. Pulled over to get a takeaway coffee once, still had no chance. It was Ramoed at breakfast time. Ramoed, it's not really a night place, but in the morning, that's rammed in there. Uh, mega bucks for nights in July. Well, you've always got the option of popping in for a little half a day, have a bite to eat. Do please hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying the stream. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe as well. We'll be live again tomorrow. Let me have a little look up here. I want to show you this is where the new YOLO sports bar is up here. Haven't had a chance to come down. But yeah, this is where the new YOLOs is. It's massive pretty big and here's all the different stuff you've got going on uh, the one in Los Cristianos is back open again as well now which is brilliant but well, this one does food hi yeah hi you okay Hello. I'm just going up to have a little look lovely 
Got a few other little things around here as well. Pharmacies and stuff. This is where I often come and end up getting blood tests for the uh, company medicals around here. So I think it's just up here. There you go. That's the one. I saw Epic Phil in here the other, the other week. I thought I've got to come down and show it because I didn't have any idea where it was till now. Yeah, I saw Epic Phil in here. Phil, if you're watching, one of your favourites. After watching your live streams the past few days, just booked to come over in June. Brilliant, get it booked. Get on the Sky Scanner, scope it out. Get yourself in here, get yourself over. You'll have a great time. Right, we're gonna carry on. I hope you're all enjoying this, everyone. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Wigan Pier across the way. Now we've got two options here. I either carry on and go past the Princess Inspire to the Fanny Bay Shopping Centre, or we carry on up here, uphill a little bit, and have a look at these other little restaurants and stuff along the right-hand side here. First thing we're gonna do is show you the Wigan Pier. Very popular place. And then we'll decide if we're going down or up, whether you want to punish me with my legs or not. I nearly get run over by an Audi. Typical Audi driver. <laughs> I'm only kidding if you own an Audi. So there you go, there's your Wigan Pier down there. That's a lot more cosy than I thought it would be, if that makes sense. Or is that, ah, okay, so this is different. I thought it was that. So Wigan Pier, more of a, yeah, old school bar look to it. And then next door you've got like a different cosy type restaurant, it looks like. So this is an Italian, is it, by the looks of it? Pizza, La Flacca. Looks nice, doesn't it? I like the neon writing. Never knew half these bars uh, you're showing us existed. There you go. There you go. I'm trying to mix it up tonight. Never normally down here at night time. I've got the perfect slot. So, right, we can either carry on down that way to the shopping centre or well, we can carry on up to the right and have a look at some of these. I'm tempted, although it's harder on my legs, to go up to the right, because there's some stuff up here that we can have a look at. Let's punish myself, burn some calories. <laughs> Been eating out with my sister for the last two weeks, after eating out in Florida for three weeks. So uh, I've got a few tiramisu's to burn off. Ended up in Vegas Grill last night, gorgeous as ever. Had the chicken skewer with uh, satay sauce. Lovely. Uh, Laura's all good, thank you very much, Daniel. Laura's all good. Working hard in the bar, putting the graft in, putting the hours in. And yeah, all good, thank you very much. You came out on the live stream with us last night. Enjoyed a little night out. So you've got one there called The Pub. That looks quite uh, like old school pub vibes. Sports on and stuff. Oh, my little legs up this hill. <laughs> I'll turn back around in a minute. There's just a, a few up here. Yeah, a bit of my MJ. Player Olid is the hotel to look for in this area. If you're wondering where we are. So you've got the Indian there as well. So it's not as much as I thought there was. Okay. So, we're heading back down. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, but I hope you are enjoying it. <laughs> now, hopefully the plan is Laura's gonna pick me up from uh, Fanny Bay Shopping Centre. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, the hotel was amazing. Uh, I bet the towels are that thick. Guests can't shut their suitcase. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> whizzing off with the towels. I know loads of you have done that. I know loads of you watching, you won't admit it in the chat. I know loads of you have whizzed a few towels in your day. Especially if you've got the hotel logo on. What did you dry yourself with this morning, love? I used the GF Grand Special. 
<laughs> oh, I'm using the GF Victoria today. I know you've all done it. <laughs> and the rest. Pens and all that. Uh, what's the weather going to be like next week? Uh, hopefully good. It's certainly warming up. I'm, I'm hoping for, for good things next week. Really, and we've got Chinese there. Steakhouse as well with a wooden grill. Okay. We're back down here. Uh, best Chinese is over the road opposite Wigan Pier. Yes, the one I've just pointed out. So have you eaten in there? Paul says it's the best. Hello. That looks nice vibe in there, doesn't it? Love that. Love to have one of them on the rooftop. I am, I am in the process of ordering a heater for our balcony upstairs. I wouldn't mind one of them, but not quite the right setting. But it's nice, isn't it? The little real little uh, fire burners to keep you all warm, cosy. We've got the uh, Monte Cristo here. Isn't that gorgeous as well? The way they've done the palm trees. That's stunning. Really nice with the fountain as well, no music, just the fountain. Chilled, romantic vibes, nice lights. That's lovely in there. If you've eaten in there, let me know. You know what, all the live streams I do and you all tune in, none of you told me to come down here at night, did you? <laughs> One or two of you might have actually. I'm always down here in the day, but it's a completely different place at night. Completely different. Bar Miami, nice for a quick cheap drink and a bite so you've got a mix of sort of posher ones more basic ones something for everyone princess inspire there been in there many a time in fact what i'm going to try and do is uh, show you where you can come for a drink again these hotels you can come in and have a drink see if we can get past the security guard I came in here a few weeks ago with my friends and you can come through to the back and enjoy a drink and they just pay with cash. If they'll let me in, that is. We'll see how we get on. Yeah, gorgeous resort this. And through the back is a lovely bar with uh, some lovely entertainment on. Yeah, a lot of the time, I think, in fact, I think that's one of the entertainers on the screen there now. So another very posh hotel. And now let me see if I can take you through to where you can come for a drink. You don't have to be staying here. Yeah, I think that's live. Saxophone. Uh, do please hit the thumbs up, everyone. Just did a look, a look, little look at Sabia. Uh, approximate price, all-inclusive flights for a week. Jet 2, 3,000 for two people.
my legs telling me it was more. <laughs> Here's another little bar you can chill at, have a little drinky. Nice. Hello. Okay then. Right. Let's make our way up and out. Oh, that was nice. Tell you what, you've seen some nice hotels in this stream. I am knackered. <laughs> so many steps. Yeah, very posh, very posh. I understand that uh, it's uh, not going to be in everyone's budget, that. But uh, you do often see some good deals and stuff. So, worth checking out. Right. I do the videos on YouTube, yeah. There you go. Okay? Oh, you okay? Thanks very much. You yeah. having a good time? All yeah, your information, time, yeah. actually. You know what he was telling us about the bank? He was. He was. Yeah. yeah. Thank See you very you much. Mate. Are you down here doing your... I just had a little look at the hotel, yeah. Just having yeah, a little mooch good, around. Mate. and. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's it lovely is, in there. You know, actually, the, the bank issue that you were telling about the AMT. Right. So we searched yeah. to find a bank. So okay. You know, we did, but then we found out they're only charging like 7% or something. It's and like then that. the AMT, Thanks these AMT right. was... Like whatever it was, much much yeah, higher. It was. So thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Good. I'm glad thank you got you, sorted. Oh, yeah, nice yeah, to lovely meet to meet you. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. You off yes. anywhere nice tonight? Uh, we're going down to Fenor Bay. Yeah. Just so much to eat. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sure that, a few Have beers. a bite now. All Chill. That. Any big plans tomorrow, Paddy's Day? Uh, Paddy's Day. See she's from Dublin. Oh, yeah. nice. Uh, we're going to head up towards. Uh, is it? You know, just past Las Americas. Into uh, Los Cristianos that way. Not in between the two. In between, so you've got, got like, that, um, yeah, yeah, where it all goes bar, down, Temple Paz. Bar and all that, yeah. Yeah, Temple Bar. Right. We're so heading that way. Part La Paz, that section. That's yeah, That's yeah. nice. Nice to meet you. You too, have a lovely time. Yeah, Enjoy tomorrow, too. look after yourselves. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you make sure you put us on, yeah? Oh, you're already on, you're live, so you're already on. <laughs> you're on. You're on. We are blazing, we have been following you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you all your advice. I appreciate it, have a lovely night. Thank you. There you go. Lovely couple, fantastic. Everyone's having a great time, are they? Aren't they? Everyone wants to chat. Smiles, good times going on. Right, we're gonna have a little look at Fania Bay Shopping Centre, and then I'm clocking out. <laughs> I'm uh, hopefully gonna get Laura to pick me up, and uh, gonna get back home. Busy day for me tomorrow. Cars in the morning, bar, live streams. It's all gonna be going on. Good atmosphere. Gotta get these new microphones charged up and we'll be uh, good to rock and roll. Make sure you hit the subscribe, it's free. Hit the thumbs up, it's free. Everything we do on the channel is free, so uh, you're very welcome to join us. More action coming tomorrow, right. Spin it around. Uh, is Buddy's family friendly? It is indeed, yes. And we've also got uh, alcohol-free cocktails, virgin cocktails, alcohol-free beers, gluten-free beer, uh, all your soft drinks. We've got bottles of Prime, which the kids love. So even if you're not a big drinker, we've got options for everyone. We have nice, just chilled music on. Usually a bit of 80s, a bit of 90s, a bit of a mix, a bit of soul. And uh, it's not blasting. People can sit, have a chat, have a conversation. And it's quite nice when you go in. No one's sitting on their phones or you, know, you actually have a chat, which is nice if that's what the vibe you're looking for. Tropicana. Let's have a quick look in here. Fania Bay Plaza. It's open 365 days a year. It ain't quite Siam Mall in here. It does struggle a little bit. But some of the shops do very well. Some of the little cafes and stuff. Uh, it's a great bar, thank you very much. Yeah, give Buddy's Bar a follow on Facebook and uh, Instagram as well, TikTok. TikTok Tenerife Cocktails. All the little follows, they really help us out, the little thumbs up and stuff. And we, we really do appreciate it. Which, as you can see, it's just, it's dead in here, isn't it? Dead. Some of these are open in the day to save. You know, that, that little cafe there, their market is going to be residents, people working in the bank and stuff. It's very resident-based. Uh, Spanish style, that's good for, like, cheap alcohol and souvenirs, liquors, spirits and stuff. Cigarettes to take home. 
Yeah, it's very, uh, very quiet. I've never actually needed to come to Fania Bay Shopping Centre, if that makes sense. There's never been a business where, you know, you Google it and you've got to come here for something. You know, with all the cars and stuff, you never ever had to come here for anything, really. <laughs> like Bootle Strand. Uh, a little bit, I mean, they are making a bit of effort with it. It looks a little bit tired in some ways. But there we go, what a stream that was. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I found a new place I want to go and eat with Dad and film. Uh, a couple of different bar options for you to drink in. I had a great chat with some people, met some lovely people along the way. Who gave some great advice as well. That was certainly a uh, fun little stream there. If you're a fan of the Florida Vlogs, the new one went out at 6 o'clock today, so do check that out. Another good fun Florida Vlog. And on Monday, we've got our big premiere of uh, probably the most unique, special hotel in Tenerife. <laughs> Definitely check that out. Possibly the most unique hotel in Spain, in the whole of Spain. So do have a little look at that. Um, oh, let's have a look down here. Because we've got even more little shops and stuff down here. We're going for it. I'm sure I've hit my 10,000 steps just on this stream. I uh, feel good. We'll have a little wander. A lot of these are all your little souvenir shops and excursion shops and stuff. Little pharmacies and that. A couple of electric stores. You've got a lot of these uh, spas are popping up. A lot of these foot spas and massage spas and fish spas. Got one here that's new I've never seen before until the other night. Another one here called Nice. It's massive, over three units. Do all your nails and foot massage and stuff in there. We'll uh, carry on, make our way down to the end and we'll uh, have a look at more restaurants. Uh, would you recommend the Park Santiago Apartments? It depends which one you're in. Park Santiago 3 is the most popular, followed by Park Santiago 4. They are the two most popular. A couple of other little shops down there. They're all those souvenir shops, though, with all the bags and hats and T-shirts. Uh, we've got 1,000 got people tuned in, only 490 thumbs up. Do please hit the little like button, everyone. It's dead easy to do and it does help us out quite a lot. I really would appreciate it if you could do that for me. Uh, great vlog, thank you very much, Phil. Alison, fab vlog, thank you very much. So you can go to one place in the day and it's absolutely dead. You come in the night, it's a completely diff feels completely different. I feel like I've been in a whole new area tonight whole new area saving your new florida vlog till the after the live stream thank you very much the uh, florida series has done very very well a lot of people watching it as well who don't normally do florida don't normally watch florida because there's stuff in there that it's just fun hilarious uh, we went for a steak dinner we had a steak meal and it was um longhorn steak that we had so from a longhorn cow basically a uh, completely different type of meat now, a longhorn steak, fun fact, longhorn steak, uh, which is what we had, is actually more lean and better for you, and less carbs, etc., than chicken. So, yeah, we tried longhorn steak in the vlog that went up tonight, hilarious, with Dad in the restaurant. So it's just funny stuff in there that uh, a lot of you enjoy in general. So here we are then, we're on the top side of Fania Bay now. So if you carried on straight down there, you would hit Fania Bay Beachfront. To the left is Guayamina Princess, that's where we've just been in that pool area over there. And to your right would lead you towards Del Duque, uh, up in that direction. We've got the Mega Bowl here, if you fancy a bit of bowling, you can have a, get a bit of Mega Bowl. All kinds of restaurants down there. Shall we go through the middle? Through the middle, solve the riddle. 
Yeah, I guess do it. Let's do it. We're going for it here, guys. Restaurant Martini. Now they used to have one of these in Los Cristianos. It did go a few uh, a few years ago. Loads of these little shops. If you want your souvenirs, you're inundated down here. Spoiled for choice. You can get as many dog collars as you wish. Uh, okay, I thought there was more restaurants through here, but it is mostly all shops, and they're mostly much of a muchness. Got a nice women's shop there. A lot of this, all the very samey, isn't it? Magnets, frisbees, bags. Got a bit of jewellery here in this one. Okay, here's a restaurant. Chinese, Japanese and Thai food. Phoenix Asian cuisine. Anyone eating in here? Goes through to the other side, as you can see. Anyone eating in that one? Kebab Life, we've got one of them in Las Americas. They've got a few of those. El Olivo, anyone tried this? This one's busy, Milano as well. So this is a Spanish restaurant here. And then to your right, we've got El Molino. That's another busy one. Philip Turner, thank you very much for the super chat. Looking to come next year, uh, but a little concerned about the muggings, uh, loving the videos every day. I wouldn't be too concerned about them. It can happen anywhere, obviously. The reason it's heightened over here is because we've got so many tourists, so many people who are switched off. Uh, at the moment in the winter as well, uh, not in an offensive way, but we've got a lot of over 50s here. Oh, oh, Hi, yeah, you okay? All good? Having a good time? I always follow you. Oh, you're welcome, no problem. Thank you very much. Ah, okay. So you having a nice time? Any any particular plans for tomorrow, Paddy's Day? Oh, hey. oh yeah, true. <laughs> it's no problem. No problem. I did detect the Welsh accent there. So how often do you make it out here? Good. As many times as you can. Good. When are you next back? Two weeks. Two weeks, that is. You go on for two weeks, you're back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That can't yeah. be bad, can it? <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. Have a lovely time. Yeah, Enjoy your last meal then. Okay, thank I'll you. I'll see you in two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Bye. Have a lovely night. Bye. Thank you. Oh, lovely couple. Home for home again, back for two weeks. Can't be bad, can it? I'm only home for two weeks and back again. Uh, yes, so back to uh, concerns about muggins and things. Uh, we have got a lot of over 50s over here. Uh, at the moment and um, they know that that generation often walk around with the big wallets they carry the cash around and things and um, so all I would advise is just don't walk around on your own late at night in the dark there you go there's Colonial very nice hey hey okay have a good time good. that's Colonial very busy in that one and this goes over a few floors as well look at this shock a block Colonial, you do food in there as well. Good vibe. So yeah, I wouldn't be too concerned. Just look after yourself. Only take a bit of cash out on your card. Stuff that if you lose, you're not worried about. Don't walk around on your own late at night. If you're concerned, jump in a taxi. If you feel uncomfortable at all, just go in a restaurant, a shop or anything like that. Uh, it does happen. But if you're careful and you're wise, you'll be absolutely fine. It's the people who switch off and they wander around with a big fat wallet sticking out and they're walking along late at night on their own. Or, you know, they're a couple. Hi, yeah, you okay? Um, so, yeah, just look after yourself. You'll be fine, absolutely fine. Any concerns, send me a message and uh, I'll do my best. Here you go, just down there, this is going to be Ramo tomorrow. Waxy O'Shea's. Saw this the other night when I went to Loch Ness with my sister and uh, chock a block. Well, what a walk this has been. Wow, wow, wow. Right. Uh, so, we'll quickly go down and show that. We struggle for signal in this area normally. 
But look how busy everywhere is. Look how busy this restaurant is. The Azar, it's full. And it's exactly what I said earlier on this stream when we started. It was about quarter past seven, wasn't it? I showed those restaurants and I said, look, you know, you can pick your table. Now look at them now, an hour or so on. You're not going to pick your table now, are you? You're probably going to be waiting a little while for your food. Servers are running around all over the show. So again, my recommendation, eat before eight o'clock, half seven, seven. You'll notice a difference because it just gets so busy and they get so overwhelmed sometimes with the situation, with staff. Right, let's head down onto the beachfront. Hit the thumbs up, please, everyone. Let's get the thumbs up going. When nearly a thousand people tuned in, hit that thumbs up button. Share the video if you can. And thank you all very much for striding around with me for the last 100 minutes. Where did that go? Jeez, I've got to save some energy for tomorrow. <laughs> That's going to be fun tomorrow. I'm excited. I think it's probably why I've uh, got a little bit of extra boost of energy tonight. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Let me just show you this one. Tomorrow, keep an eye for this one as well if you're in this area. Waxio O'Shea's, every time I go past it's chocker. Let me spin it around. They have a bit of entertainment going on. Oop, spin it around, there we go. There you go, Waxio O'Shea's. Love what they've done to it as well. The decor and everything is spot on. All the neon lights and everything, big kitchen. They're playing a bit of games and stuff, I think. Anyone from Ireland? Yeah, a lot of Irish in, a lot of Irish over. <laughs> Look at all the Guinness pumps as well. They'll be flying out the Guinness tomorrow. I don't want to see fucking bias, but for sure. Oh, sorry about the language, everyone. We are past the, the nine o'clock, are we, I think? <laughs> you will have to bear in mind there's a bit of light bridge going on. There's a good atmosphere though. Germany! Got the girl here doing shots as well. Fuck. I don't mind. Thank you, good night, that's all for I'm not Don't share what I'm leaving, you piece of shit. Right. <laughs> So I've got to be careful, I do apologise for the language, but uh, I think it's an, it is a, <laughs> it is an adult themed uh, <laughs> entertainment that one, but nice to see a comedian, something a bit different, don't often see them do you, a bit of a comedian, you get a lot of singers, all do great in their own way and do their own thing, but not often you get a comedian is it, I like that, nice to see something a little bit different, comedian on there. Right, we seem to be doing okay for signal, let me know. Are we still all good with the audio? See, this is where normally I would have had my battery warning come up now and I would have to end the stream. But these new microphones seem to be using a lot less battery from the phone, which is brilliant for us. Longer streams. So we're on the new DJI mics. If anyone's interested in them so far, so good. 220 euros. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, well, I don't think that would be on all the time, Russ. I see your point. I don't think that's on all the time. I think that's just with this weekend. It's Saturday night, coming up to nine o'clock. It's not like that all the time. So you can only can judge it just by that. Um, you would be fine to take him. Just obviously, probably avoid the weekends. Um, but. Uh, I think it would be fine. Get all that massage spa there. Sangre de Toro. Spanish looking restaurant. There's your Mr. Sister. Show bar, look how busy it is in there. Look at that. Chocker block. Rugby's on. Look at that. Tell me the island's not busy. Wow. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And it stretches all the way back as well. Look how busy it is in there. Big atmosphere building up for tomorrow. We will be live tomorrow on this channel. Keep an eye out. About 
possibly again in the evening. So keep an eye out on this channel. Hit the subscribe. It will notify you when we go live again. If you're going to uh, be interested in seeing what the atmosphere is like tomorrow here in Tenerife. A lot of people fly over just for this weekend. So do tune in. And then further up, you've got Luma. Huge restaurant. Been in there a few times. Love it. Food is always spot on, to be fair. And considering the size of it, the food is always fast. Comes very quick. Which is uh, really good. Uh, just pack, it's jammed. Uh, what a great workout you've had. Thank you very much. Definitely must have gone over the uh, 10,000 steps. Uh, Keris, it's vibes, it really is. <laughs> um, video is ace, thank you very much. Bill of Porter still on the hand, I believe he is, yep. Yeah. So he's one of the comedians. But there's not many of them. It's nice to see a bit of a variation on the acts. As I said, they're all good in their own way, but love to see more comedians around. Yeah, let's see what else we've got going on in the comments then. What time of year is the busiest? I would say the two weeks over Christmas is always nuts. This week is always nuts. Um, Easter can get quite busy. Uh, but in general, the whole winter, running from October through to March, is generally very busy. But the two weeks over Christmas in particular does uh, get very busy. And these, these couple of weeks in March as well definitely jump up uh, right so where shall we go um, I'll tell you what we're going to do uh, we're going to walk to the end we might lose a bit of signal here bear that in mind I will be back I'm going to walk to the end to Blue Cactus and cut up and uh, hopefully Laura can pick me up from around that area been a real long stream I've loved it thanks for sticking with me as well still 960 of you with me uh, tonight Uh, great live tonight, cannot wait until September. It's got you all in the mood. Get yourself on Skyscanner. Get it booked, you can see the vast size of Luma here. Absolutely massive. Massive, and as you can see, doing a roaring trade, very busy. And they employ a lot of staff as well. So the food does come out very quickly. They are pretty nifty on the service, which is good. There you go, I've got to talk over this music just so we don't get a uh, music strike just coming from the little bar on the end. So we'll have to do a little bit of waffling. A bit of a beach bar here as well if you fancy a bit of a romantic drink. Something a bit different, you've got a bar right on the beach here. With uh, some nice romantic seating, cocktails, little lanterns on. And sit and have a romantic uh, little drink in there. Beach club. So a viscous beach club that one. And then a little kids play park here with the trampolines. Everywhere you look, there's just people doing stuff. I love it. Love it. Four weeks to go, not long rush. Get your suitcase out, get your sun cream on. Sun is still very strong. I'm seeing a lot of people burned. Get the sun cream on. All year round, the sun is strong here. Even I burned yesterday. There you go, I think we're back. That is always the little signal dead spot. Always. Always a dead spot, that one. Unfortunately, as well, we lose a little bit of, we lose a few viewers there when there we go through the dead spot. But I think we're back. Okay, Don. That's fine. Easy on the language, but uh, we should be come back now. Okay, I think we're back. Apologies, everyone. Bit of a dead spot. Here's the McDonald's. <laughs> Tell me your McDonald's has got the same view as this back home, right on the beachfront. And uh, further on, if you don't want a McDonald's, I mean, each to their own. Some people like to try it abroad. You've got a lovely little beach club next door, which does food and drinks and smoothies, which is nice. You can sit inside, you can sit on the little swingy chairs, and you can also sit on the beach as well itself. It's nice, isn't it? Love the lights in the trees. Yeah, apologies everyone, did lose a little bit of a, uh, lose a little bit of a uh, signal there, so unfortunately it did drop off. Well, thanks for sticking around everyone. We are back. Thank you very much.
Sorry everyone, the signal's struggling a little bit. We've got another little Cockalucci Beach Club here, which is uh, a little bit loud actually. I'm not surprised there's not many down here. It's a little bit uh, Veronica's vibes, this. Very loud. I would, uh, when you've only got two people in, a bit loud that is. Wow, I'm gonna talk over that speaker. Very loud, I apologize. Oof. I'm uh, very loud. Okay. <laughs> Probably wasn't my best route that, was it? Heading through there. Lost a bit of signal as well. But we're back. I'm gonna bring you out just at the top here by the blue cactus. Very loud that. Jeez. We deafened. <laughs> There's two people in there just sitting there. They must... <laughs> boy, oh boy. I mean, I get the vibe they're going for, just turn it down a little bit. It's deafening. Right, let me spin this around. Here we are then, Blue Cactus. Got a little bit of live music on. People singing the old reggae. Nice. Chilled vibes in here. There you go. <laughs> uh, the new mic, the music up, great. There we go. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you very much for uh, popping on. It's just the blue cactus above Fanya Bay Beach front. And there's a look at Fanya Bay Beach then. The whole of Costa Decky. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> DJ performing like he was in jumping jacks. I mean, it was all right, the music. It was just the volume. The volume was so loud. Let's turn the music down a smidge. Uh, the temperature currently right now, I mean, I've not got a thermometer on me. When I parked, it was 21, 22. I'd probably say it's about 20, 20, 21 at the moment. Lovely and warm. Lovely and warm. Oh, well. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm not used to being able to stay on this long. I'm really not. Normally the battery's well gone by now. So I'm made up with that. We've just increased our battery power by about double, I reckon. Double. I'm not used to being able to stay on this long. So we might as well just do the full two hours. Where that went, I don't know. And we're gonna go to the end of uh, Puerto Colón here before uh, I'll see if Laura can pick me up. If not, I'll jump in a taxi. It's, uh, it's been a lovely walk this evening. Let's spin it around. I hope you have enjoyed it. We've done a full tour of Costa Radecki at night, basically. I need to change the name of it. Full Costa Radecki tour. <laughs> oh, yeah? You all right? Yeah. You all good? Yeah. We're doing well, yeah. Having a good time? Yeah. Always. How long have you been here for? Only since Tuesday. Arrived on Tuesday and here for how long? Only a cheeky week. Almost. Cheeky week. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Any plans for tomorrow? Are you going to avoid the madness or are you going to have a dabble? Uh, no. <laughs> Avoid. I Avoid. Think. Fair enough. It's 50 50. I've spoken to some people who are getting involved, some people are like, no. I'm chilling. Well, you won't yeah. be able to stop, will you? No, we'll no. Really keep away from it. Yeah. No, fair enough. Long Each to their own. Everybody's enjoying themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And where are you yeah. off to tonight? Have you just eaten or you're oh, having a mooch? Or... No, I'll go for a walk a bit off. Oh, nice. <laughs> where did you eat tonight? Uh, El Puerto. El Puerto. El Puerto. El Puerto. Nice. Always. Yeah. Lovely stuff. I've not tried it in there. I need to go in and have a go. Have a go. The staff are lovely. Yeah. Makes a difference yeah. that. Yeah. And, and she's Irish, you see, the girl. Ah, there you I go. Was that, front, I was just front. asking her if she go and have a few <laughs> tomorrow. She said I'm working. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she will. Yeah. When, that makes yeah. it, when the staff are friendly and that makes a huge difference. Yeah. Huge yeah. difference oh, to the yeah. experience. Oh, the, yeah. 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 Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Any other plans while you're here then, or are you just chilling out? Just a quick cheeky week, as I said. Cheeky week, chilling. I like that. Chilling. I like that expression. Yeah. A quick week away from grandkids, that's it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. That'll be with Dad in a few weeks, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did bump into you near the airport when you were going home on time. Yeah, I think I do home. reckon I'm great with faces, terrible with yeah, names. Yeah. I was going to say, oh, well, I'm sure I've... Uh, I'm not it was about, that, it was about the time when that we were watching that. Uh, it was actually here. Get the guy with the camera with the picture. Ah, the. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember you telling me that story actually. That was it. Now I remember. Now you triggered my memory now. She gave him a wallop, didn't she, for trying to. Yeah. 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 Good. That's what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, from reading on the groups and stuff. Police aren't megally interested, so. No. 
if you're not mega interested, people will do their own their yeah. own thing. Yeah, yeah. we were just talking to a lady who got stuck here in COVID in yeah. her hotel. It was here for four months. Oof. Yeah. In some ways good, in some ways bad. It was a very strict lockdown. It, it was, was very strict. strict. Yeah, she army on the streets and everything. She was saying they wouldn't let two out together. No, no. Her, her and her husband. Yeah. One each, you had to go to your nearest shop. You couldn't travel a bit further to go to a cheaper yeah. shop. It was yeah. go to your nearest supermarket, no matter the price. And yeah, yeah, yeah. very strict. It, said it sounded, it sounded idyllic, but it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't. I was here for it. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it sent a few people a bit crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was but tough. Counting rent in the amount of money the island lost. Oh, I know, big time. Can't but can you believe it's four years ago? Four years, no, no. four years coming up since uh, Boris did his. No. You must stay at home and all that. Yeah. And we was watching all the blogs, you know, where to make it sure we could come back all right. Yeah, so keeping in touch, yeah. Fact, when he closed it down, Boris, we should have been on the plane in the morning. G so you should have been on the next day. In some ways, probably better you didn't have done coming halfway yeah. through and then everyone yeah. was on those repatriations and yeah. that was mental as well. Yeah. Getting everyone back. Yeah, yeah. She said she had a nightmare with that lady with her husband. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. We'll, we'll have a lovely night. I'm going to stride on. Stride but uh, lovely to chat. And uh, look after then. yourselves. Have a yeah. chill day tomorrow. Ciao. Thank you. Oh, a lovely couple. I remember now. I met them in the airport, and he was, uh, he was telling me a story about there was a spot there, and, and um, one of the usual tricks with the pickpockets. Oh, let me take your picture. Lovely background. I'll take your picture. And uh, while well, one one of them's taking your picture, the other one's in your bag and all of that. And, this elderly lady caught what was going on and she absolutely was. He tried to run off with her bag and she walloped him. Walloped him. Love it. Uh, buzzing sound on the mic. Ah, okay. Is it still buzzing now? Maybe it's running out of battery, maybe. Maybe the battery on the mic is struggling. Are we back? Are we okay? Let me know. We're still testing. Still testing, remember? Hi, Trisha. How's it going? I hope you're having a good time. Hope you're still having a good day. Let me know about the mics then, everyone. Is it still, we still on? We're still okay? Still buzzing a bit? Uh, maybe they're running out a little bit, are they? Okay, one second. So we'll go with, uh, we'll go with no microphone for now as we uh, exit. Maybe they need charging up a little bit. So this is the sound without the microphone. <laughs> I'm sure you can probably feel the difference, maybe. Let me know. Hopefully that buzzing's gone. I've uh, just taken out the uh, the microphone. I didn't fully charge, I only picked them up today, so I just gave it a quick blast to charge and then uh, came on. So so this is the sound without the mic, which do you prefer, with mic or without? We'll get them fully charged, but yeah, these are them. DJI, really good, really pleased with them. We would have never, ever still been on by now. We would have finished this probably an hour ago with the old microphones. They absolutely drained the battery. El Puerto, quiet, El Ferry. A lot of these now. Food's all done. People heading into the bars now. How come it's due to be really busy tomorrow? It's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, Georgie. And on this island, Paddy's, Paddy's Day is massive. In the south, Paddy's, Paddy's Day is big. We get a lot of the Irish fly over, the Brits get involved, everyone gets involved, there's just all kinds going on. Uh, we've just had Cheltenham week, so people are all over for that as well. So people just tag on and enjoy Paddy's Day at the same time. Uh, also in Los Cristianos, Las Americas area, you've got the big carnival going on, so huge parade. All the streets are closed, a massive carnival. Uh, we've got the fair on, all the fairground rides. So that's happening tomorrow as well in at Los Cristianos, four o'clock, huge parade. So we've got a lot of lucky, lucky men trying to sell you, sell to you even though you're a local, yes, because I dress like a tourist, Jess. Because <laughs> uh, I look British, I sound British, and I'm in a wacky holiday shirt, so I get targeted all the time, even with a camera. I think, to be honest, they just target anyone and everyone. I don't think they can really distinguish who is and who isn't. They'll uh, sell to anyone if they can. Sell to anyone. Uh, Mark McGowan, thank you very much for the super chat. Great live. Seen a few places me and my wife Gail uh, will visit next week. Fantastic. Uh, as well as buddies, of course. Hope to see you and Lauren there. You certainly will. Uh, everyone, welcome to uh, come down. Buddies Bar in Los Cristianos. Got some great cocktails. 
We uh, make them all with proper quality ingredients, all quality stuff, and uh, yeah, really good cocktails, good atmosphere. You can meet loads of people, meet fellow subscribers, fellow lovers of Tenerife, and uh, we're more of a chit chat bar sort of thing. We don't do loads of entertainment. We might have a one off tomorrow though, with a bit of an uh, Irish tribute band tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you're in, we might have a bit of entertainment on, uh, just as a one-off. But yeah, it's more sort of chit-chat, cocktails, drinks, friendly. Uh, all of our staff are really good, friendly as well. So that's our sort of vibe that we go for. And we do, of course, show the sports as well. So the uh, United-Liverpool game will be on. Those other football matches that are on tomorrow as well. We'll get all of those on for you. Well, what a walk. Didn't plan on it being this long. We tested out the microphones and what a brilliant test it's been. Not only better sound quality, but the fact with the battery is what is uh, really pleased me this evening. And that means for you, longer live streams. Oh, there we go. Wow, what a tour we've done. We've been all around those back streets, all along there, round these hotels, into a couple of them, all the way up to Fania Bay, down Fania Bay, and all along the beachfront. Huge, massive loop. But boy, was it fun. Thank you very much for joining me. There's the Peking Garden Chinese down there. Popular. Oh, wow. Uh, it's the bar called Buddies. It's Buddies with an IES, not with a YS. Uh, Catherine was lovely when we went in uh, to the bar. Yep, yeah, both times she chatted to us for a little while. Such a nice woman, loves her job. Yep, yeah. fantastic, Jess. Very friendly staff. 